And, um, we were preparing a surprise gift for you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us, and definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Huh? This is... We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads. And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Uh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> and all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset, too. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you, too? Very clever. No! Well, I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, everyone? Paimon's hungry. It's almost lunchtime, so how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So, even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep. I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house. Because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. Here we are. Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to take off your shoes. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, chairs. We can finally unwind for a bit. Huh? Uh, did you guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. aren't even on and there's no one whoa dun dun, 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 dun. Happy, happy birthday what are you two doing why are you sitting in the dark inside my house you scared the pajesus out of me <laughs> you jin you were totally right she does get spooked it's your birthday so we planned a surprise party for you <laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent Huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Totally, Yunjin. Goba pulls pranks on me all the time, too. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> Beidou needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are. A custom-made dagger, and the score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I had these gold hairpins and iron hair ties, custom-made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make hair ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground 
turned it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar. So I thought you should jazz it up a bit. I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. Hmm... That's certainly peculiar. No, let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat! Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that, because we were too busy bringing the food over. It's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One, two, three. <laughs> hmm. What should I wish for this year? My wish is... Oh, I'm back. What happened? Paimon was just peering through the crack in the door. Given that we are in a mirage, Xinyan, did anything significant happen inside the house? Paimon knows! Paimon knows! She ran into some of her friends who were throwing her a birthday party. Yes, I heard all that. I mean, something she did herself. Oh, I made a wish. It's pretty interesting now that I think about it. When I entered the room, I found Shang Ling and Yun Jin, two of my best friends. That actually happened in real life. They paid me a surprise visit on my birthday, set a table with delicious food, and persuaded me to make a birthday wish. Xin Yan, what was your wish? My wish was to perform with someone completely unexpected. Hmm, I wonder who this unexpected person might be. I've just figured it out. Oh, you already know the answer? Mm-hmm. However, before I tell you the answer, I'd like to clear the water veins that flow through the mountains. You called?
All right, let's... of this. Just follow my intuition. We'll need more where that came from.
Time to go. The wind knows me. Time to go. <laughs> right. Yeah. Time to go. There's so many hilly trolls around our signal testing site. Better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. 
a car don't push yourself look uh, there's a cave over there let's go and rest for a while Let's stick to it. There's gotta be a way. After taking a closer look, it seems to me that most of the island mountains contain water veins and plants in their interior. Those together form a system that connects the mountains with one another. However, now that much of the mountains have collapsed, the connection of plants and water veins is blocked. If we can dredge all the blockages, we'll be able to connect the islands to form the giant instrument described in Albedo's notes and play music using the islands themselves. Yep, for me to reach my goal, we gotta do this. But first, I'd like to consult the flower. It should know what to do. Some of the plants and water veins on the island mountains have been lost. Do you happen to know another way to dredge the blockages? I know someone who can help you with that. Go ask my companion, Frozen Soul, who lives upstairs.
Who are you? And what brings you to me? Nice to meet you. We were wondering if you could use your power to dredge the mountains on the island. Mountains? Oh, I see. You want to become great musicians too, right? Oh, is that what this is about? Correct. In that case, we seek the same thing. Despite my frailty, I feel obligated to share some of my power with you. Plant my pedal at the ending point of the intersection of melodies, and what had once sunk into the earth will re-emerge with the music. As long as there is music, life will continue to flourish in this world. Oh, thank you! to do the trick. Oh, there's a sound coming from the island. I follow the wind. Time to go. to the wind. As one with wind and cloud. One with nature. more where that came from. Better than nothing.
smile to my face. <laughs> A fateful offer. 
suffering. Better than nothing. Can you feel anything now that we've planted the petal? Yes, I can feel it. The sun is shining brightly. The sea gleams like a gemstone. The waves lap the milky white beaches. And the grains of sand are pulled into the sea, then pushed back ashore. The seabirds are landing on the rocks pecking gently and making rhythmic sounds. Da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. It's music. This is indeed music. In fact, this whole island is a giant musical instrument. Since you are a musician, you should be able to understand the meaning behind its original creation. Ah, <sighs> making music with the tides, waves, and sea breeze as your instruments is the most romantic thing in the world! Let's go, everyone. 
It's time for my performance! Kazuha, can you feel the wind? Which direction is it blowing in? It's coming from that direction. I'll take you to a hill where the wind blows. The time has come. Everyone, I once made a wish to perform with someone no one could have expected. And today, on this island, I found my answer. No one knows the name or appearance of the man who transformed this island into a giant musical instrument so many years ago. But he is unquestionably one of Devad's greatest musicians. I never imagined I'd be able to see such an instrument, and I never imagined we'd be able to play it during a high tide. No. Music is the gift one gives to their kindred spirit, so I'll play something that makes for a better duet with the original musician. No rock music for today. Instead, I'm gonna show you something new. You liked this song. Whew. How was it? Not bad, huh? <sighs> Quite impressive. I've never heard a duet like that before. It was very interesting. And so elegant as well. <sighs> Paimon's not sure how best to put it, but it was just super unique. <laughs> Thank you. And now I can say my wish has come true. Is there anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> no. In fact, I reckon I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. Does this mean everyone is free for the time being? If so, I have a suggestion. I'd like to return to the Fatui camp and see what's going on there. Oh, so you've discovered the Fatui camp as well. Wait, you know about it too? Of course, I'm a genius astrologist. Didn't I mention that my scry glass has recovered a little? I can sense what's going on here through divination. Uh, I didn't know the Fatui were here too. Indeed. I also informed Fischl of this when we parted ways today. If she runs into them, she'll stay hidden and out of danger. I see. Then perhaps we should tell everyone what we know. Strange machine and delirious Fatui? Are you suggesting these are connected to the Mirage? I can't say I'm certain, but I don't believe they're completely unrelated. Fair enough. Let's go check out the camp. Thank you. 
clouds high. The birds call! 